Hey everybody, as I promised earlier, today I'm going to show you all how to do the glitch voice on the microphone. Alright, so in order to set up the glitch voice, you're going to need three things. First, you're going to need a program to actually host the glitch voice program. So for that, we're going to want to download VST Host. I'll have all links in the description below. So go ahead and just start a Google search for VST Host. And it shouldn't take too long to find it. This looks like what we're looking for. And here's a link. Yep, this looks familiar. So what you're going to want to do is go ahead and download that. Downloads. I uh, will go for the x86 version. So it's going to be the 32-bit. Now go ahead and wait for that to download and we'll move on to the next step. Actually, so while that's downloading, let's just go ahead and get the next thing we're going to need. So the next thing we will actually need is a thing called VB Audio Cable. This will allow your microphone to connect to the glitched voice program and allow a second output to be set where you can then connect it to Skype and whatever. So go ahead and search up for VB Audio Cable. I already have it searched before. And you're going to want to go to the second link by www.vbaudio.com. So I'll go ahead and head up there. And you're going to want to get the... Hmm, they changed their website. This wasn't like this earlier. Alright, go ahead and click Home. And then Download. Alright, that wasn't there before. At least I hope it wasn't. Whatever. That's done. So now you're going to go down here, where it says Other Software, VB Virtual Audio Cable. Click that. Go ahead and download this version. I have no idea what this one does. This wasn't here when I set mine up the first time. And this one works just fine. So we'll go ahead and get it. So your download will be here. Go ahead and click that, and you should start downloading the zip too. Now the next thing you're going to need is uh, the actual glitch voice itself, which is called dblue glitch. And you're going to want to go to this first website. Again, links are in the description. And download the free VSD plugin, which is the older version. There is a newer one, but we, we're not looking for that one. That one's paid access, I think it's like, what, $20? And the only advantage that I've seen, I don't know, I haven't tried it, it could be way better. The only advantage I've seen is you could run multiple effects over each other. So now let's go ahead and get onto the setup. Alright, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and open up the VST host and go ahead and make a folder for it. Let's go ahead and close this out. We're not going to need that till later. New folder. Go ahead and name it whatever you want. I'll just leave it blank for now. And go ahead and drop all the contents into it. Alright, so once that's created, you should have a folder that looks like this. This is what's actually going to be running everything. But before we do that, we're going to want to get the uh, other file we downloaded, which is the actual glitch voice program. Minimize this. Go ahead and drag this into... Actually, wait. Go ahead and grab this specific DLL, dblue glitch v13 DLL. Drag that in here. Wait for that to happen, and we should be good there. Next, what you're going to want to do is go ahead and install the virtual audio cable. So you can actually have the an input that you can actually use for other programs for the glitch voice. <laughs> I don't know what I said there. I said that completely wrong, but that's fine. We'll just go with it. So go ahead and open this up. Now, you should extract it, but I'm not going to because I'm an idiot. <laughs> and go ahead and run the setup for it. And go ahead and install it yourself. I don't need you to. I don't need to explain that, and I already have it. So, yeah, go ahead and run that. It's safe. Uh, I mean, I've been running my computer for like what six years now. It's fine. <laughs> so yeah. So once you have everything, go ahead and open vsthost.exe, and you will get this little message here, just saying, "Oh, thank you. Uh, you should donate and contributing to them since this is a free program that they made." So now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and go here. Select a new plugin, and go ahead and select dblue glitch, and you'll get this little thing here. Now another thing you're going to want to do is go to devices, wave. So the input will be whatever microphone you're using, for me I'm using a blue snowball. And the output, you're going to want to set that to cable input. Alright, that's very important. This is going to allow you to actually get the glitch voice and send it over to another program like Skype or Discord. So go ahead and select OK. And to actually open the stuff, you want to click this little button here. 
and here's your control panel. Alright, so right now you can't hear me since I do have my recording program set to record straight from the microphone, which is this part, and not do anything with the output for the thing. So here's the program, the actual thing. I'm not sure what most of these dials do. Not too big an audio, I just switch between 1 and 5. And that's how I get my effects. If I want to do specific ones, go ahead and put retrigger. This little dot represents where your microphone currently is. So anything you put in front of it will be said. So like for example, if I go ahead and put this here, anything I say right now will be carried over and you'll just hear that ooh repeatedly over here. That's what the retrigger effect does. And if you want to make the, um, this is the tape stop, which is the one that does that weird record breaking sound. Um, to elongate it, go ahead and bring the slowdown all the way down to 2 or 3, which is where my sweet spot is. And it gives a nice slowdown effect if you want it to go back higher at the end. Go ahead and switch the speed up to like 5%. Or just leave it off. So that's up to you. Now let's get into actually <laughs> letting it connect to another program. Alright everyone, now that we have Discord open, let's go ahead and find out how to actually make the, you know, microphone effect go through to a different program. So you want to go to your settings and head over to voice. And your input device, it's going to be set to default. What you're going to want to do is change this to cable output. And accept. Now, once you go ahead and talk, if I could find a server with people in it. <laughs> And they should be able to hear the glitch, voice only. Sadly, there isn't one, so whoop de doo that sucks. So I guess I'll just do a live demo right now. Alright, so now I'm back and I have switched on the detection for my recording software. And we'll go ahead and run the demo. So right now here I'm talking normally, everything's fine, but now when I go here everything <laughs> sounds really bad. Everything's fine, and you can go now and a lot of this. But you probably didn't understand a word I just said. So what I said was, it sounds very crazy, it's fun, you can have a lot of fun with it, especially when you listen to it yourself. And yeah, so a little quick rundown. So if I do this, put this here, and say, whoa, you get that little effect there. That sounds like your computer just crashed or something. And oh, this one's fun. Set this over to 11. <laughs> put it over. And now it sounds like my microphone is broken. <laughs> that one's also pretty fun. Gator, this is basically just like lag. It's pretty nice. Stretcher and delay, don't bother using these, they're not they're no fun like at all. So yeah. <laughs> and shuffler, that just makes you sound like you're stuttering. It's funny. Modulator does exactly what you'd expect, modulates your voice. And tape stop, as I explained earlier, does something like this. And yeah, it's all fun and silly. So thank you for watching. Um if you found this useful, go ahead and drop a like. If you didn't find it useful and you absolutely hate me for leaking this, uh, go ahead and leave a dislike. That's also fine. And do consider leaving a comment. So yeah. That's it, I guess. Goodbye!